I got some things I want to ask this morning. I'm trying to see something. I'm trying to see something. I'm just trying to see. Boy! Y'all better get up in here and say good morning. Good morning! <laughs> take out mine and he has his own place. Hey! Hope everyone having a blessed day. Yeah! Um! Why you still can't take care of your child and he got his own place? And then you said he, so therefore that means he's a mama's boy? Why you still taking care of your child and he got his own place? Um! Hold on. Uh, yeah. What now? Hi, Patricia Bostic. Mr. Boom Bostic. Hey, yeah. Hey, Lorraine. Hey, Pooh. I know that just me. That's just me. I've always been like that. I, you know what, Tracy? But the thing is. You got to let him fly. You got to, well, you see, what happens when his back, but his back is against the wall and he ain't got nowhere to go but to look up. But see, let me tell you, Trace. See, the thing is, 
he gonna always know mama gonna be there. What happens when, you know, mama ain't there? Mama got to not be there so that he can, okay, figure it out. That's what I'm saying. I mean, but it's, it's, I'm not passing judgment. You know, everybody take care of their children and it's cool. But how long? How long do you take care of grown folk? Just help him with his man, food, etc. Then you, he ain't grown. Trace him. Trace That means he ain't grown. If you're doing all that, you paying two households. If you helping him with his rent and paying your rent, or, you know, paying your mag, or then your house may be paid for, you paying some some rent, you, Trace you still taking care of your child. He don't need his own place if you're going to pay rent. If you don't have one household. Nah, let me go check my food. Be right back. Gonna get mad at me by the time this shit is over with. play football for Maryland. Yeah, you're 18 year old still in in you know sports and doing whatever. You know, 18 ain't grown. But 20 and 30, that's grown. Uh uh Tracy, don't get mad at me. <laughs> I don't wanna be here. <laughs> but no, Tracy, 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 Tracy. Trace says she had 11 year old, 18 year old, 20 and 30. And one, I want to say the 30 year old, it's the 30 year old the one. I'm not little. Thank you, Tracy, for not getting mad at me. Tracy, uh, how old is the one that you still helping them pay rent? The, the point I'm trying to make though, for real, I, I'm, I'm okay. <sighs> Let me be serious. 
this the point I'm trying to make is if you still helping them while they're out of the house then they not out of the house they just doing other things and the stuff that they want to do because mama still paying and helping see my mom ain't helping nothing over here if my back get up against the wall and my baby you know what i'm saying my baby don't i can't call mom the point is is i have to be mama say be able to stand on your own two feet and what i got from that when she told me that was don't call me don't ask me for nothing don't assume i'm gonna give you nothing don't count my coins for me i made this this is my money so i can't Tracy, I have to figure it out. So, you still helping your your child, you know, with bills, etc., etc. He ain't figuring it out. His his figuring out is I'ma call mama. You got to let him bump his head and start being grown, living grown life, making grown life decisions. See, see, Tracy, because you ain't gonna always be here. You got to say the stuff for when they really need you. You see know what I'm saying? Say, say the IRS come pick his ass up and then he needs some help. But, you know what I'm saying? You got to, I'm gonna live at home until she's, what? Gonna live at home until she's 30. No, she's not. <laughs> Listen. Ah, uh, see, I was telling my sis they have to. Yeah, listen, you have to. You know, and I thank God that my mama, I left the microwave door. Ah, uh, I'm glad that my mama told me. And she ain't said it in a nice way. She was. Look at My mama not mean. She not mean. She just stern. And she said, be able to stand on your own two feet. When she did that. <laughs> I know she meant don't ask her for nothing. Now I can ask my mama for something, but I can rest assured you that she's gonna think of all things. She's gonna give my mama is gonna give you an avenue, which means she's gonna give you advice. You see what I'm saying? On how to go get it. She ain't finna hand it to you. So um Okay, let me say it this way. Let me say this. Uh, and I'm trying to be nice by saying this. If your children ain't sowing into your life, then you need not to be sowing into theirs and they're grown. Let me, let me explain what I mean. If your 23, 30-year-old, 20, uh, any, anybody over 20, if they ain't come and say, Mama, can I wash the car? Mama, can I mow the grass? Mama, can I steam wash the house? Mama, is it anything that you need? Mama, I'm going to the grocery store. Is there something that you need me to bring back? If your children are not sowing into your life that's over 20, then you don't need to be putting nothing into their life. You don't take care of grown folk. Grown folk take care of, supposed to take care of themselves. Um, my and my son love home 21 got married and been independent oh, that's what I'm talking about I live at home till I was 25 but parents said I can only do that until I graduate okay yes now understand I'm not talking about children that's in college if your children are in college they get a pass because literally they still in school Okay, they, they get a pass because they're still in school. Now, they should have a job. They should have a job. Living at home. They should have a job. But if you're not, cash out, just because that's what I'm talking about. Uh, exactly, I'm like, your mom won't mind to know how to survive. So when I'm not around, they'll know. Exactly. Uh, I have 10 kids. My oldest two are deceased. Okay, um, uh, it's not about the amount of kids you have. It's, I'm talking about grown folk. I'm talking about grown folk. It's not the amount of kids you have. It's that, that you, when you get them to a certain age, 
at some point you're supposed to let them fly. 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 Um See because you then you then you you're teaching them and I'm and I'm and I'm talking about boys. You're teaching them to don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. I don't want to be here. But when you're teaching your boys that they're grown and they, they can depend on mama, you're teaching your boys that when they get with a woman, they want to depend on that woman because mama doing it. You got to be able to let your children grow, figure it out so that they, when they get with a the woman, they will become, they will be men and let, and, and defend for themselves and take care of that woman. But if mama is still doing it, they gonna want a woman that's gonna do it. Uh, let me put my glasses. Now, as far as girls, let me tell you about girls. Some girls are always uh, daddy's girl. You know, they don't get, they don't get a pass either. <laughs> um, Parents are supposed to teach their children to be independent at the end of the day. At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, parents are supposed to teach their children, they only have two, boy and girl. Boy and girl, two girls, two boys, and, and that's it. That, that, you, you get what I'm saying? So you're supposed to, hold on. Lord, thank you for this food. I'm about to receive in the name of Jesus. I pray Jesus. Amen. Ah, uh, you're supposed to teach them how to be independent. Mothers are the son's crutch. Daddies are the girl's crutch. But at the same time, it's okay to be daddy's girl, mama's boy. It's okay to be that. But teach them to be independent and not depend on you. If your children are not sowing into your life and they're grown, you suppose it, your child's supposed to come to you, mama, hey, mama, can I wash your car? I don't care if you just took your car to the car wash. Tell them yeah. Yeah. Mama, I, you, man, you mowed the grass. Well, you had to pay to have that grass mowed, right? Because you had to pay somebody to mow the grass. Um, Lord have mercy. I, I just don't understand. Anytime your child is coming to the house with their hand out and they ain't coming with something in their hand, <laughs> y'all don't watch me. Hold on. Mmm, 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 mmm. Uh, she lives with the baby father and we don't want to help because he is fully able uh but he pay pays half oh okay okay um <coughs> my son worked job since he was 18 up until last year with the disability not working at all but the disability that means he's getting he's getting some type of money and again i say this is not for this is not for children that are, you know, your children that are disabled or something, you know, physically wrong. I am saying grown children. I am talking grown children that's still in their mom and daddy's pocket. And, and you know what? <laughs> let me say this. Maybe I'm not in my mama's pocket because she won't let me be in her pocket. Because I believe if I can get some money from my mama, I would take it. So I, I, ain't, I ain't professing to be perfect. It's just my mama has set the, the standard that my coins ain't for you. So I had to learn how to figure it out myself. I thank God that she was stern, that tough love. That tough love. That's what my mom did. 
I didn't like it. Because my mom was tough on me, I didn't like it. But it taught me independence. I didn't like it. I hated my mama. I hated my mama at a point in my life because my mama would not help me. But I thank God that she didn't because it got me to be independent. She was teaching me how to figure it out. <laughs> uh, what if they grown but don't listen, Not you never taught them anything? Then it's on them. It's on them. Just make sure it's not interfering in your life and it ain't coming out of your pocket. Uh, I just thank God that she was tough on me. And, you know, to this day, even last night when I called, I said, Mama, I just want to say thank you. Get my, my, my mama, I don't know if she's wondering why I'm at telling her thank you. But I, I do, I say thank you. Um, uh-oh, wrong light. Uh, had to pull them big girl parents up exactly. Yes! Um, when we borrowed money from parents, we had to pay it back though. See, neat, neat. My mama wasn't playing that. My, my mama don't play borrow. <laughs> but I understand. <laughs> mm. Um, I just, I thank God that I'm able to apologize for that. I took my mama through some changes, y'all. You know, and I, and I, and, and it's because I didn't understand. But I'm so glad that she was tough because it taught me to get out there and get everything that I have on my own. Now understand, I, I think, I think that should I, you know, be in dire, no, 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 I can't even say that. Because I told y'all that story at the time when I needed $164 to pay my light bill. And I, it was a Wednesday or Tuesday. And I said, and it was a disconnect notice. And I said, hey, country, 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 uh, country committee. It was, it was a, um, it was a light bill. And it was on Tuesday and it was a disconnect notice. And I said, mama, can I borrow $164 till Friday? I'll pay you back. My mama said, why don't you wait till Friday to pay it? She ain't care about the place getting drunk. So I can't say if I was in dire need, but then I can't call that dire need because I could have went to her house until Friday. <laughs> but it taught me a lesson. Don't wait until you get a disconnect notice to want to ask mama for some money. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That was a valuable lesson I learned. I, I learned, I, look at, let me tell y'all what else I learned. I needed a job, I, I had a, I went, my, my dumb ass, mama always said, when you get a job, you ain't got no call, get a job around where you at. No, my dumb ass wanna go way to another uh, 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 town and get a job. So I called mama <laughs> and I said, mama, I need a ride to work. Mama said, well, you better get there the best way you can because she had already said find your job in the surrounding area. So with her not coming to get me, I was mad at the time. I thought my mama didn't like me, didn't want to be with me. She did this, my mama did this. I was like that. But me being at the age of 50 now, I understand. Well, she taught me that I had to find my own way. So what I did was... um. I had a friend to rent me a car, and my friend rented that car for a week, okay? And then at the time, my daddy was alive, my daddy was the same way, he just ain't finna just give you anything. So, rented a car for a week, um, when I got my first paycheck, first paycheck, told my friend thank you. So then, she, she didn't pay the next week, I paid the next week. So I rented a car for six months, all because my mama wouldn't take me, wouldn't take me to work. <laughs> um, <laughs> my mama wouldn't take me to work. So I rented a car for six months, saved up so 
some checks. Went to my daddy house. Let me tell you, let me tell you, y'all that still touch me to the day. Went to my daddy house. I had eight hundred dollars in my hand, and all I needed was five hundred dollars to go for to put a down payment on the car. Yeah, I think I told y'all this lesson about three weeks ago. And my dad, my dad didn't say nothing. I told you, had eight hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars in my hands. He saw it, and I said, Dad, I need five hundred dollars more to so that I can put a down payment on the car. I said, Would you mind, you know, loaning me the five hundred dollars? I thought my daddy was gonna tell me no, but see what what the lesson was with him. It was two lessons with him. I came with something, okay. I came with something. I didn't come with nothing. I came with something. So he gave me that five hundred dollars, and I. But but because I said that I'm gonna pay you back. The second lesson was a man that don't have his word ain't much of a man. I didn't know. I didn't know what that meant. But y'all, I paid my daddy back that five hundred dollars a week before he passed and I didn't even know he was sick. He didn't tell nobody he was sick. And I brought him that $500, paid him back a week before he passed. So there was two lessons he taught me. I came with something and he said, a man that ain't got his word ain't much of a man. So that taught me something. So when I went and bought my first car, I bought my first car. All because my mama told me, no, you should have really got you a job around here. See, I figured it out. That's the thing I'm trying to tell y'all. You gotta figure it out. But had he been a crutch and my mama been an enabler, I wouldn't have learned them lessons. I wouldn't have learned them lessons at all. But I understand that at 51. I didn't understand that in my 20s. I didn't. Mm -mm. I understand. So again, I'm going to ask, how long are you going to take care of, excuse me, grown folk? If there is no excuse, you got to let them churn get out there and figure it out, especially if they out there making babies. Old oh, school parents teach you how to take care of yourself. Figure it out. As parents, we are not going to be here forever. Especially if you're out here making babies. How you making babies and you ain't taking care of yourself? Making babies don't make you a man or a woman. I promise you. It only makes you a mother and a father. Now, sure, whatever title you get behind that, that's on you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, Amy, thank you for lunch yesterday, baby. I remember your name. Thank you for lunch yesterday. Um, um, no, no, done it. I had all but nobody wants a weak lazy man. Yes. I told my son, if you're out here, you know what to do. My mama told us, don't come home with no babies. She, one, she ain't had to worry about me because, you know, I had, like I said, I had been taken advantage of. So, you don't have to worry about me having to come home with no babies. Now, my sister, my sister waited till she was well out of school and married when she got pregnant. So, she, that's another thing she did. Uh, my dude wants a child now, but I told him I will not financially in a place to provide how should we, uh, you should wait to be has to wait. Yeah, y'all should wait. Y'all should wait. If you know better, you do better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm say again, how long do you take care of grown for? And see y'all, look here. I know some of y'all scared. And y'all don't want y'all turn out there to be hurt. But they got to get them scrapes and, and they got to get them wait. They got to get them scrapes. And 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 and, and scars. They got to get them scrapes and scars. That's all they gonna learn. <laughs> mm. And it's one thing that need help, ask for help, and enabling in help.
open. That's all I'm saying. I thank God for my mama is there. As a single parent, uh, it's like, yeah. Because, you know what? And, and the thing is, I am not passing just, but I'm just telling you how I am. I'm thinking, now, nah, you like this dude. This dude like you. You think he fine and you want to lay down with him. At some point in your brain up here, then it, I be in my mind to me, y'all. I be like, don't they think that? Cause all it takes is one time to get pregnant, and a condom don't always protect everything. Who you ask yourself? Well, okay, I'm not on the pill. The pill don't take everything. The condom don't take everything. Am I financially able to take care of a child? Should I get pregnant? Do they run through somebody's brain before they lay down with that? First. I'm just saying. <laughs> Why nobody think that first? Um, I, I, I sure as hell did. <laughs> I sure as hell did. And my boyfriend at the time wanted. My my boyfriend at the time, I I was 16. My boyfriend at the time wanted a baby. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right now. Until I was 20. So my boyfriend that I had of four years, wait, how long we have been together? Of two years at that time, wanted a baby. I wasn't having sex. I wasn't having sex with him. That's why he left my ass. He didn't want, he, I wouldn't have his baby. I wouldn't have sex with him. And I guess he thought uh, saying he wanted a baby was going to, you know, do whatever. But I was the wrong one. What's going on, Slender Brown Eye? Um, but. <sighs> And, and you know what? And I, and I have to say this too. Women, I have to say this to women because it's men that, that don't care. Women, I don't care how ugly you think you are or how ugly you feel. Let me say it again. I don't care how ugly you think you are or how ugly you may feel. Can't no man make you pretty by sleeping with him. So if you looking at him and going, oh, he want to sleep with me. And, and you know, uh, and you have this low self-esteem about yourself. That man ain't sleeping with you to make you pretty. That man ain't making you, that man ain't sleeping with you to make you beautiful. Guess what? When he get up from coming to you, I'm telling you. You're going to still feel ugly, and you're going to still feel ugly on the inside. That man is only sleeping with you to get a nut. Mm. Oh, this gumbo girl. Oh. They got a lot of insecure women, young girls, sleeping around with these boys in school and in college, you know, the GQs. And, uh, 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 mm, So parents, I'm going to ask you again, how long are you going to take care of grown 
folk. Mm-hmm. I, my mama didn't care if I didn't like her. My mama didn't care if I was out there on them streets. The choices I was doing, I was making on my own. I was doing that because I didn't want to listen. So at 51 now, I can say, Mama, I'm sorry. I didn't want to listen. I didn't want to take heed to what you were saying. But I thank God that she was consistent and continued not to do for me. So I'm going to say to you, I'm from the South of Texas. Oh, excuse me. From Texas. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to say again. <sighs> you love your kids, but you got to let your kids scar themselves up and scrape themselves. That's the only way they're going to learn. But if you... Daddy, can I come over and get something to eat? Daddy, can I borrow the car? Daddy, you got a hundred dollars? Mama, I need this. I need to get my hair done, Mama. I need to get my nails done, Mama. And you enabling this shit, Mama. I need some rent. I can't pay my rent because he only paying half. If a man is only paying half of your rent. You don't need to be with that man. That means, no. If you're married, I understand dividing up the bills. No, no, no. Let me take it back. If you're dating, I understand you're dividing up the bills. But if you're married, you've said before God that you can take care of this woman or man who help you stood before God and made vows to say that through thick and thin sickness and health you can take care of this man or woman but if you're dating I'm gonna say this know your end game When you're with somebody, know your end game. Parents, when you're of a certain age, you suppose, when you get 20, 30, 40, what'd you say, babe? Really? Oh, she on the phone. That's just something else that they Babe! You look to, uh, I am talking to your mother. Hi! She tried to call you. She's talking to me now. Tell them I'm lying. That's why. I'm lying. Ooh, she's talking to my mom. Anyway, y'all, I got a whisper. <laughs> I got a whisper. Hey, country comedian. I got a whisper. And you know what? I whisper. My mama can still hear me. <laughs> hey, listen. Listen. I'm serious. I'm scared of my mama. Shit. I can't even cuss. Right now. Um. See? See, she hit me. See? My mama hit me. Wait. <laughs> See? She talked. Y'all. Whoo! My mama. Whoo, my mama got my heart beating fast. They were scared of mine. They hear everything. Yes! My mama got the immaculate hair. I got to talk low until she get off the phone. Uh. She say she tried to call me, y'all. No, I got to call her and explain why I ain't answer her phone. No, she gonna pop up in the live. She ain't gonna do that. <laughs> you said I'm 36, she turned fast, and I duck, I swear. Yes! But y'all, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm gonna say it again. If y'all got these children that's out here making babies, you make them get out there and figure it out. That's what, I, I'm, not as, I'm not telling nobody to be on the system, but that's what the system is for. They ain't want to listen while they was in your house. So now they got to go sit on the system and listen to them people. And figure it out. Stop being an enabler. If you're not going into your parents' house, handing them something for doing all of what they have done for you. If they're not handing you, if they're not washing your car, washing your dishes, mowing your grass, 
uh, vacuuming your carpet, uh, making your bed, telling you to sit down, let me do this, you've done enough. I'm just saying. If them children not coming back sowing into your life, they ain't learned yet. I'm going to say it again. If them children ain't sowing into your life, they ain't learned yet. Baby, you trying to follow mom? Woo! What mama say, baby? She told she said for you to stop being so loud, but she said shut up. She said tell her to shut up. See? She told me to shut up. But then, she, <laughs> but, but then I told her you was going to lie to me. She said okay. I see. Woo! Now she listening. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, I am my. Uh, Burma, say again. Um. Yes, country, country comedians say he understand my pain about my mama. <laughs> I would help with food, rent, but the other stuff you can figure it out on their own. That That's still an enabling. That's still enabling. You're not helping them pay their rent is still enabling them. You have to let them hit rock bottom so that they'll understand that money is not for hair, nails, going to the club, buying vodka, turning up taking vacation, as long as you are enabling them by helping them with rent, um, they're going to continue doing that stuff. I wish you told me you was putting that in the freezer, baby. Well, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I thought you knew. I thought you heard it. Um, I say, hey, Miss J. Hi. Oh, baby. Baby. Mm -hmm. What? Say, say hi. I'm going to make my breakfast. But you, you guys with right? your head turned, baby. Hi. Hi, everybody. You having a good day? <laughs> Happy Saturday. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah. Mm. My mom's probably watching now, y'all. She probably didn't click on them and, you know, watching from the, from the, um, however they do that on TikTok when you don't have to join, but you can still see uh, it took me losing an apartment. Mama said I could come home, but I'm paying rent there too. You better say it again. You better say it again. And you can't live nowhere free. You can't live nowhere free. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You can't do it. Mm -hmm. Being an enabler. You gotta know the difference. You, you, you just gotta know the difference. Yeah, she eating honeycomb. <laughs> Thank you for every lesson and has to give to my boy and he was in April and not. Yeah. Um, hey girl. Um. That's, that's all I'm saying. How long you take that long for? Slide me a bowl, please. BK say slide her a bowl. My daughter hated it when I charged her rent. She was 27, 27 at the time. And heck, that's what, see? Now you understand what I'm saying? That's what you call enabling. You wanna come up here, bro? Mm-mm. No? Mm-hmm. Baby, you next wanna come fast, boy. Them honeycomb gonna hurt my like this. <laughs> 27 at the time but I, like I said I was in my 20s when I got upset at my mom for not helping him but my mom wasn't enabling she was teaching me I understand that now at the age I am um hmm baby that's a lesson that my dad taught me the two lessons that my dad taught me and the lesson that my mom taught me. Don't ask, don't don't let you stop. That's two lessons my dad taught me, two lessons my mom taught me. My dad, when you come asking for something, come with something. You you get more you get more coming with something than you get when you coming without nothing. And a man's word, a man ain't got his word, ain't got much of nothing. My mom thing is don't wait to the end to need something. Take care of your stuff in the beginning. That way when it comes to disconnect notice and stuff, 
you you're more prepared. When you when you don't have a job, don't go get a job in another town and you can't get to it. Get a job around you. Because if you go get a job in another town you can't get to, you really gotta figure it out. So um uh, my mom and dad were 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 parents that taught lessons at the moment. They taught they taught lessons in a time of distress. <laughs> um, I didn't have time to get mad, get angry. I had to figure it out. So, I'll say again, if your child coming to your house and they ain't coming to help you, ask you to mow grass, wash a car, back in the floor, the big weeds off the damn fence, anything. If they come in to ask you something for something and they ain't bringing something, don't do it. Don't do it. <clears throat> don't do it. Uh, when they're young, they don't understand, but as they get older, they will, and thank you, yes. And some of them, y'all, some of y'all can't tell y'all parents, you know, thank you. Hey, uh, DC, some of y'all can't tell your parents, thank you, because some of y'all parents have passed on from y'all foolishness. Because you got to understand, again, parents do worry. Now, I ain't never said she didn't worry. You, you make, you, you get out there and do that foolishness, and they trying to teach you, and they worry at the same time. Want some more back? Hey, Bottle. Um. Yeah, she wants some more. And I asked you if you wanted some more. Oh. <laughs> uh, they're not trying to the children's friend, parents. Like I said, yeah, yeah. My mom is my friend now. He's my mother first and my friend second. But at, back then, she, my mama wasn't trying to be my friend. She ain't care. Mama ain't care if, she, if you got mad at her. I, I just thank God that she was consistent. She didn't, she didn't waver. She ain't changed. She stayed just like this. You gonna either come to me or you gonna stay away from me. <laughs> mm. Called me yesterday and said uh, my move to Texas helped her grow and appreciate me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm. New generation we spoil and we don't know to work hard at all. Parents are giving easy nowadays. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And it and you know, it makes it hard. It makes it hard. And that and you enabling your child is what makes your children go out there and do foolish stuff because they can always come home. If you, once they walk out the door and you close that door and they can't get back in, they gonna start making uh, wiser choices because it's gonna either, the street's gonna either make or break them. That's another thing mama told me. I agree because mine definitely wasn't my friend. Yeah, I have six and three wrong and help if I want, but they know I got to, they got to depend on themselves. My help is a blessing. Yeah. They only hurt your children when they become adults. Yes. Ooh, man. <laughs> My mama got a way of saying, uh, saying some stuff, boy. It, it's just when she say it, it don't click to me till I get from around her. And I didn't say it to myself four or five times. Remember that? Oh, she was being funny. <laughs> I'm 47. My mom became my friend when I was around 35. Yeah. I was, I think I was 44. 44. Maybe 40, 43, 44. My mom became my friend. You see what I'm saying? She's always been my mom. Um... I just thank God that she didn't waver. The stuff that I gave, that the stuff that I put her through, she didn't stop being consistent. 
and she never stopped being my mom. She never stopped being my mom. You know, because some children, when you talk crazy, when the children talk crazy to their mom and, and, and then the parents disown you, mom ain't never disown me. And I've said some things, done some things, and all that. <laughs> she stayed consistent. She stayed, she never wavered, she stayed consistent. Even to this day. And she still teach me things. She still say things, and I don't get it till later, you know, uh, because my mom is like, mom that wants you to figure it out. She don't want you, she, she don't want you, she don't want to be the answer to your, to your problem. That's your problem. Um, that's me with my grown kids. I love this stuff because my sister is having problems with her. Uh, Grown daughter who is 38. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, my mom just made 70. My mom just made 70 last week. Was it last week or week before? She just made 70. Week before. The Lord has blessed her 70 years to be on this earth. And I thank God that I'm able to apologize for all the stuff that I took her through. All the stuff. Um, I had to learn the hard way on some points. Don't like being told what to do. Yes, that was me. My parents always made us work. We worked after school and weekends for pocket money. Yes. Big B say, hey, Miss J. Good morning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, she always say, had it not been for the Lord. <laughs> yeah. My mama just one of the mothers that don't play. She just, she, she ain't your friend. Then she'll tell you quick, I'm your child. No, you, you, you got it. Um, she'll say, I'm not, I'm not your, I'm not your friend, I'm your mama. She'll just tell you quick. And it feels good now to be my mother and my friend. She is somebody that I call and talk to um, about everything. I tell my mom everything. And I and she what my mother said when I tell her stuff that she didn't think she didn't need to hear. <laughs> she said, Don't be telling me I don't need to hear that. <laughs> Stuff yeah, that you would think, you know, I would only tell Jay. No, there's stuff you don't need to be telling me either. But I tell my mama every. I do not lie to my mama. I don't lie to my. She, but the thing is, she's not asking you. Mm -hmm. she don't be asking you. You just volunteer. I had a bowel movement this morning. It was off. Nobody needs to know that. I need her to know. No. That my bowel moving good. <laughs> My mama don't know. <laughs> your mama don't need to know about your bowel movement. I, I, my mama need to know that I'm regular. <laughs> my mama need to know I'm regular. Shit. I do. Hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all why I'm like that with my mama. <laughs> like that with my mom. See, my mom has been the only biological parent I've ever known. When I talk about my dad, he's my stepdad. My mom's first husband. But I call him my dad because he's been in my life since I was two. But biologically, my mom has been the only parent I've known. And see, my mom, you know, kept, kept my mom, my godmother, kept us in church. You see what I'm saying? And we've always learned that honor our mother and father for the first commandment with promise. Okay? Uh, that you may live your days, may you live long. That's another verse. One is in one and the other. One is in touch long and one is in another. Um, and so, I've always felt that I can, if I, I can talk to two people. God, who is the head of my life, and my mom, because she's the she's the mother of me, and that, that she's the only parent I've ever known. So 
I ain't gonna lie to him, cause he knows all and see all. And I ain't gonna lie to her, because I have no reason to. So I tell her everything. I don't care what it is I've done. I don't care what it is. If I steal some candy out of the store, I told my mama, I, I, Mom, I took some jelly beans out of the store. Mama I ate a banana out of the store. You know? If you, I'm gonna say, I used to tell people this all the time. If you can't talk to your mama, if you can't talk to your mama and be honest with your mama, It's almost that, going back to that Bible verse, how do you talk to him whom you not seen? And you see your parent every day. So yeah, I talk to my mom. I tell my mom everything. I tell my mom everything. Even if I done done something today and I ain't told my mom, I'll tell her two days later. Well, mom, she told me not to do this here, but I did. I tell her myself. I tell her myself. You should be able to talk to your mom. Your mama birthed you, carried you, fed you. You should be able to talk to your mom. Within reason, babe. You don't do it within reason. You just do it. Now, I love my mama. I understand. I love my mama too, but I'm not gonna tell my mama about my sex life and my about why about, not? You about should my, be too. about my constipation because I don't want her to turn around and tell me about hers. She, no, she don't tell me about. Yeah, mama do. Mama, mama do. Mama do. I be like, mama just sit, just sit on the toilet, shitting. <laughs> Now, I know my dad would do that. I said, what you doing? He said, mashing it, which means he's sitting on his ass. <laughs> but, Woo! that's all in fun. But, no, nah, I mean, right now, if she, if you give me, she, you telling her stuff that's a need to know. <laughs> you, tell, you tell stuff that's not even a need to know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Angie Richard. Angie Richie, you say my dad raised me, my mom gave me up a birth. So that means you should be able to tell your dad any and everything. You should be able to talk to your dad, regardless of what it is. I don't care what y'all say, I tell my mama everything. Then baby get her feelings hurt when her mom says she don't want to hear it. I said she still know. She may, she may not want to hear it, but she still don't know. Don't take that stuff out of there because I'm going to run it through. Huh? I'm gonna try to figure out how to. <laughs> Don't take the stuff out of there because I'm gonna run it through. I'm trying to figure out how to use it. Can I tell them, baby? Tell them what? Can I tell them, y'all? I gotta tell y'all something. It's gonna make y'all laugh. No, first you gotta tell me what you what, what's the subject. What you trying? What you the, trying? The, to the dishwasher, baby. No, you need to tell them that it's a new dishwasher. She put the dishes in the dishwasher, but she don't know how to use the dishwasher. All she had to do was press the on button. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. Y'all, it's one of these fancy dishwashers. You know how it has, when you open it up, it's a computerized and it, it makes a sound. And then it has all these buttons that you do. You do this. There's not just an on, but it's not an apartment complex dishwasher. <laughs> This is one of them, them nice stainless steel. Um, but see, y'all, I'm Samsung dishwasher. I'm, I'm old school. We wash dishes. We, we wash dishes and we still put them in the dishwasher. Yeah. I, I, so That's I don't talk I about it. Yes, yeah, so I don't I, talk but, about but it. But I, I need to run it through to it's just, because it's causing It's just it's she don't know how. Yeah, she don't know how. I don't like you right now. Yeah, I don't know how to Press the button. Hold on, y'all. No, because let me tell you what happened. Once before when I did that, it, uh -huh. it just continued to run. So, see, like, okay. This press is, the power. Right. Okay. But, okay. Okay. And then you want to press normal. Right. Okay. Heat dry. Right. And then start stuff. Wait, wait, wait. I got to put the thingy off of there. But let me uh, just tell you, when I did that. That's because you didn't do that. I did, and it continued to run, is what I'm saying. That, that's it. Right. You'll see. How to wash. 
That's it. Yeah, you won't see it. You gonna be like, I don't and know. And then you can do the express because they're already clean. And then just my stuff. Uh huh. You gonna learn? Keep forgetting. <laughs> I, I see. <laughs> Be great swing. Chill. Chill. <laughs> oh. Mm. I'm gonna wear I can do these computer stuff so I know how you feel. Uh don't make Miss J raise that eyebrow. Yeah! Hold on, y'all. I gotta warm my bumbo back up. And get y'all wonder why I'm living. My knee hurt right there. But I'm gonna be alright. She needs to learn how to hold on to the ceiling fan, you know what I'm saying? If she learned with both hands, then her knee wouldn't hurt. Right, she right. needs a better grip. Yeah. Well. Um. Uh, <laughs> uh, I miss you. I understand my mom has that one. I don't know how to use it either. Oh. Punch the own power button, set to setting, and then punch the start button. No, but it didn't stop when I did that. It's when I'm saying it continued to run. Listen to what I'm saying. You must have pressed the one where... There's, there's no button on there that says continue to make your, your, your no, dishwasher you say three continuously. Hours. No. There's no three-hour wash thing. It says delay start is what you... But there's no button on here that's going to okay. say... Press your dishwasher. start button. But no, I'm saying press your start button. I just want to see. I just want to see you do it. Okay. I just want to see you do it. Get your phone. It's on a minute. It's gonna be done. No, see it changed. No, I put it on sixty seconds. Oh, you did that? Yeah. Why? Cause it's already clean. We wash the dishes and we just stuck them in there. So you only need sixty seconds. You're not gonna hear it because it's real quiet. So. I can go back and watch it on my phone. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Does that one have the timer button? Oh, it has the delay button on it. <clears throat> like, in, you know, you can punch the delay to when to start, stuff like that. Um, I'm proud of you, baby. For even trying. I tried several times before. Y'all, tonight uh, we're going to be on. Miss J's page. Uh, but you want to tell me what you're going to talk about? I don't know. Oh. Oh, well, I mean, it's going to be continuation. Continuation from yesterday. From yesterday. Uh, if you want to go to yesterday's um, um, live, go on YouTube. YouTube, um, I put it on there this morning. It should be on there. <clears throat> and when you watch today from last night, then you'll know what we're talking about tonight. Uh, Mr. Teddy and Lee, love, hope, and faith. Um, Let's stop looking at my baby's legs. <laughs> What's wrong with you? That's it, baby. Huh? That's it. Shoot me in the zoom. I know, baby. I'm just messing with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Faith, hope, and love. Heartbeat. Yeah, now I got. Right now, I'm not over here. What's going on? Yeah, rose, cross rose right there. And I only, um, but you, I, you'll never see them because I don't wear them out. The only, the closest you won't see is what's on my leg. <clears throat> um, I don't never really, I don't wear short, short shoes, sir. Um, uh, any new TikTok videos today? Yes, we will when. I finish eating, getting off live, she get dressed. We got something coming. <laughs> we got something coming. Love, I don't know, especially right here. Thank you. You bought some more? No, that okay. was in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't have any more of these. Okay. But. Yeah.
You got to go back and uh, we got the end of it. Yes, it was good yesterday. Uh, yesterday we talked about uh, how to address being off the market. You know, because some people uh, don't take no when you tell them that you're married. Uh, <laughs> you don't tell them that you're married. And, uh, oh, you know, you tell them that you're married and they continuously don't take uh, your answer and move on. So uh, we was discussing how how to address it. What's your name on you? If you go to my bio, go to my bio and right below the like buttons is a play button. Press that play button and it'll take you straight there. It'll take you straight there. Uh, but if you don't do that, it's, it's swing therapy. Everything that I do is under uh, swing therapy. And uh, I, I appreciate y'all listening to me today. I really do. Um, yes, yes, yes. Uh, hey, chocolate. Uh, I'm talking about the uh, red. It's on the, oh, uh, oh, her, um, J Law 51. J Law 51. I wish I could put it in there. Somebody put it in there for me. Put put in her screen name. Why you can't put it in there? I can't do it for mine. Why? I can't do it. It won't let me. I have to address somebody if I was to. Somebody put that in there for me. J Law 51. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah. Yeah, that's it right there. I love you, baby. Come on. Huh? Come on, so we can get dressed. You gotta go to Wally World first. Uh-uh, that's not till later. Oh. Yeah, that's not till later, later. But go ahead, get dressed so I know what to put on. I have my stuff laid out. I just don't know which one I'm gonna put exactly. on first. Exactly. Exactly. Good, look, y'all. Somebody take that picture and send it to us. Mm-mm. Babe. Oh, yeah. I can't until you get dressed, my dad. No, I have three different. I know. I listen, want you to get. I, I, I want you to I'm get saying. dressed. I want you listen to get dressed. This is what I'm saying. Listen, y'all, this is what we go through when y'all ask what we wearing and how we know what we gonna wear. And when y'all get tired of seeing this and I did this is what we do. Anyway, no, it's just <laughs> according to what what video we're gonna do first. I'm gonna change three times. Is what I'm saying. Right. So and I to, want you to go and get dressed first. So I'll go. I need you to iron my clothes. My shirt. Okay. Come on. I'm coming. <sighs> yeah. Beautiful. Is she your daughter? Yeah. That's my. That's my daughter. <laughs> we just gonna look at you. <laughs> I'm just going to look at you. Yes, that's my daughter. Thank you, though. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> mom, 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 can I have $5? Yeah. Can I have $5, mom? Uh, 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 see, God can't keep them cheering out my pocket. See? <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. I don't know how you. Uh, uh, okay. <clears throat> Baby, I'm coming as soon as I finish this. See, this is how we pick out clothes and stuff, y'all. That see, we have to. I have to go through this with her, cause I want her to get dressed first, and when she gets dressed, then it'll tell me what I'm putting on. But no, she wants me to get dressed, and then she got three outfits on the bed, and then can't figure out which one to match what I got on, when all she have to do is get dressed first. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's just, he, excuse me. The thing is, is when baby's hungry, she gets real agitated. When she's hungry. That's why they say don't talk with food in your mouth because you get to spitting it all out. But anyway, when she uh, when she's hungry, she gets real agitated. She don't care. Um, she don't care who around or what's going on. Um, when she's hungry, she's hungry. And then once after she eats, she she becomes herself again. So um, 
what you eat. I'm, I'm eating my gumbo from last night. Um, and then once she, you know, eats her food, then she's back to her, her, her normal self. So I apologize, y'all, but that's how baby is. We ain't all we, we ain't always what like happened? that. No, remember earlier you wasn't you when when what uh, happened? You didn't when you spoke and you said hey and you didn't turn around and speak to him. So I so he thought you he thought he they say I just explained to him. He thought that you were in a bad mood and I was telling him that when you're hungry yeah, you agitated when you're hungry. If I sit and I wait too long and I get hungry, I'm only focusing on eating because yeah. I start to get a headache. I start to, I start to sometimes get the shakes, so I have to eat. Mm -hmm. So I, that's my main focus. So you wasn't being mean. It wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. Well, I wasn't being mean. That's why when she asked me, did I want to come and sit in the video while I eat? I said no. Mm -hmm. To not be rude, I was sitting on the side over here. Now before I let them go. What's your take on about before I let him go? Uh, what's your take on about how long do you take care of grown folk? You don't. You got to elaborate, baby. There's a lot of people here still got their children at home, right? And you don't take care of grown folks once they're out the house. No, they like still they in the house. They still in the house. No, no, no. Twenty, thirty year old still in. No, the house. but what I'm saying is, they consider grown because. Was saying earlier, I heard you say something about the out the house and they was paying somebody's rent and mm -hmm. stuff. When you, you consider yourself grown and you say you're grown and your child's grown, you when your ass is out the house, you out the house, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. That's what my dad would say. Well, you said you was grown. Hey, Buster, she heard you with her buying her ears and sleep back in the live real quick. <laughs> I hear everything. Yeah, you like mama. You know when I'm not trying to listen, sometimes I hear everything. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't hear certain stuff because I choose to tune it out depending on what it is. But I hear everything. Yeah, I actually hear when y'all typing stuff in. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why I come back through here sometimes. <laughs> y'all don't know why I just popped in? Because I know you done said something. <laughs> nah, but uh, for real, just taking care of grown folks. I mean, you have to have a cutoff. Mm -hmm. You have to have a cutoff because then they don't know when to be responsible. You're trying to teach them how to be responsible. You shouldn't have to teach them how to be responsible when they get out the house. My dad taught me how to be responsible while I was 16 and 17 years old. Mm -hmm. You know, telling me about credit at 16 and 17 years old. Even though you didn't understand? What you mean? I did understand. No, I'm asking. I mean, at first you should, I mean, you know, it's just, it's certain things that I didn't understand right. when I was telling me until I, once I got out of the house and right. I was like, okay. Well, yeah, I mean certain stuff. Me. Yeah, right, yeah. right. And then, but then, like you said, at this stage, then you'd be like, you know what? You have an aha moment. Mm -hmm. Now I see why they told me such and such or when you got 40, you know, why they told you. But my dad was preparing me before I got out the house. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. He was telling me about when I get a job. And make being, sure you're on time. And being a, a daddy's girl. Because I, oh, yeah, I, I, I was talking about the mama's boys and somebody said, well, what about them girl? Yeah. I was, I, and I was a daddy's girl. I was whispering then. I was whispering. I was whispering then. What'd you say? I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> you know, I can always go back and I know. It. I know. Why you want to tell me? I, I don't remember. Oh, well, anywho, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's a daddy's girl or, or, or mama's boy. You can still be that. And they can still be that to you. But you need to teach them how to be their own person and take care. Because when they get married, you got a son and get married, he don't know how to take care of his wife. Didn't I say that? I said he's going to be looking for his wife to take care of him like his mama took care of him. So when it's time to cut the yard, he don't know when to cut the yard and when to wash the car. And hey, we seen you swing the eyes when you mentioned daddy's girl. <laughs> <laughs> she was like the ghost was. <laughs> she know I'm, uh, I'm, I was, my, God bless my dad. So my dad, I'm real protective of my dad. Mm -hmm. I don't play about my daddy. We don't play games about talking about my daddy. She know that, but, but I, I was a daddy's girl, but my dad still had that tough love. Mm -hmm. You know, you know you daddy's baby, right? Mm -hmm. But <laughs> this is, you know, you know you was wrong and I don't take it. He can tell you, I'm not going to, you come, you go to jail. I don't um, come get grown folks out of the jail. So he told me all that stuff before I got out of that. Mama said that all in one sentence. Don't call me, you get pregnant. Don't come here with no babies and don't call me if you go to jail. She said all that in one sentence. <laughs> she wasn't playing no games. My mama wasn't playing no games. So you just you can't. And you can't be who takes care of a thirty year old. 
We got some, there are some people that do it. Okay, what's your take on you at you and your house and you helping pay rent in, in another house? You helping your son pay rent in another house. Now you at you you at home, you pay your own rent, but you helping your son pay his rent. No. He ain't grown. Right. <laughs> and ain't shit you can tell me. That means I can bust up in there anytime I want to, tell whoever is over there to get out. <laughs> Actually I can tell you what time to go to bed. Cause I'm running things over there. If I'm paying rent over there, I'm running things over there. It's gonna be to the point where you, you end up getting your a job and, and be like, Mom, I got this. <laughs> I got this. I don't need no help. Right. I don't that need no help. Huh? Was that the 30 year old? Mm-hmm. Having a 30 year old. Huh? She uh I forgot her name. She helped the 30 year old. But yeah, but she had she had ten children and her her she helping one of the oldest ones. Is it a boy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're not teaching them how to be a man. No, no, not the paying double mortgage. That's what I said. That's what I said. I said if you paying help and paying rent outside the house mm -hmm. and you paying rent and charge, you paying a double mortgage. He might as well not have been on you you just paying for him to go do what he wanna do over there. That's what you doing. Um Well I, mm, mm, yeah. I don't even think my my no, my dad wouldn't even do that. My yeah. dad wouldn't even you see, he just said he disagreed with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dad wouldn't even done that. I can do um, that right now. So how do you? He so, said if you can't afford it, you need to find you a place you can't you afford. afford. Yes, yeah. So you would you would agree when I say being an adult, you know, you should coming to your parents, you should come with something, right? Not come with your hand empty, right? Yeah, you come with the resolution, like say, well. I, I was thinking about doing this and I have this, this, amount, yeah, yeah. this amount of money and if you can give me this and I if you come with a resolution yes, yes, like how yes. to fix it because most people go to their parents and want to know how how to do this and can you help me yes. and then I come in with a resolution yeah, if you come, come with a yeah. resolution then yeah. um yeah I don't know if y'all noticed that light there, but that that oh, just they started, know. that just started and the thing about it is it's they only know. doing it on camera it doesn't do it with a, uh, what do you want to call it? With the naked eye? Yeah. It doesn't do it with the naked eye. It's only on camera. <laughs> so I tell baby it's angels, but. Yep, I already know. She she always just say, she said it's, it's something about her that's causing that to happen. Like, I, I, like, baby, I'm blessed. The Lord is in the place wherever I am. Uh, baby, I'm blessed too. I didn't say you wasn't. So you saying there's angels. I'm just telling you I'm blessed. I, I say me. it's angels only because of <clears throat> things that my dog would do around here. The dogs when they see, you know. And wherever I am, a light going to shine. So that's why I say that. Well, the light shines on me 24 hours a day because when you're a superstar like me, you know what I'm saying. Actually, I should have on shades right now. <laughs> ah! Yeah! You see? You see? <laughs> Baby want to play with me. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm, what are you doing? <laughs> but yeah, so y'all tune in on J Law Fifty One's live this evening. We might go live a little bit early, um, um, around three thirty, around three thirty, four o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Central Standard Time. Um, we're gonna uh, start a continuation of talking about the topic we were talking about yesterday, and the topic was uh, 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 address, uh, addressing being off, off market. market. Yeah, and it's just a continuation. It's added on that I we we'll go back and we. We look at the lives at night or in the morning. You gotta love me, got the shades that is bright. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I wanna say, uh, we go back and we look at the lives and I've seen some of the comments and some stuff that we missed because we was either engaged yeah. with each other or talking to somebody who was invited in the live. And there was two things that I seen that I wanted to address yeah. that had to do with that, so. So, we see you this afternoon. J Law 51's page. Okay, tell them bye.